Fierce and ambitious Lola Alvarez who works as an executive for Mythos Wines. After saving a distribution deal with famous restaurateur, Hamish King, she sets her eyes on Bond Family Wines in Australia. She shares her next mission with Audra, a friend and colleague from work, which comes back to bite her. Audra uses Von Family Wines as her pitch during a meeting the next day and the boss called her promise her a promotion. Lola calls him out for being the worst leader ever and quits. She starts her own wine distribution venture called Salute Imports and decides to travel to Australia to make a deal with the famous Hazel Vaughn. Lola books an Airbnb cottage situated on the Vaughn Sheep Station to get close to her. There, she meets the station's boss cocky, Max. He finds her wandering aimlessly inside the main house and leads her to the cottage. During their walk to the Airbnb, Lola spots Hazel and wastes no time in introducing herself and her intentions. Hazel is impressed with her research but makes it clear that Vaughn Family Wines is a very important company and she would never give out her account to a newbie whose distribution venture isn't even registered yet. Max uses the moment to inform Hazel that their new recruit at the station bailed and they're one person short for sheep shearing season. Lola jumps at the opportunity and volunteers for the job. Her stay increases from two days to two weeks and she has now has to live in the shearer's quarters with the other workers. Lola hits the ground running but finds it difficult to cope with chores like fence mending, sheep feeding, cleaning, among other things. She does however get extremely close to an elderly sheep, who she names Barbara. She also makes friends with the other workers who initially give her a hard time, since she is the newest Jillaroo at the station, but warm up to her eventually. A few days later however, after messing up a chore in front of Hazel and Max, she decides to quit and head back to LA. Lola hitches a ride with Max who is heading into town but his vehicle breaks down, forcing them to walk back to the station. On the way, the boss cocky encourages her to stay and take the risk of trying to win over Hazel. That night as Lola introspects, she discovers a book on Sibylla Vaughn, the woman responsible for transforming the Warada property into its present condition, gets inspired and decides to stay. One night Lola notices Max walking into the main house and getting into the pool. She follows him and casually calls him out on trespassing. He reveals that Hazel is out of town and she never uses the pool. The two get in and have a swim as Hazel returns and smiles after witnessing the situation. Halfway towards the film, Max and Lola head out to a waterfall after a long day on mustering sheep on motorbikes. There he mentions that he was a rash and reckless local kid but pulled himself together after his mother died of cancer. Later, when Lola is out drinking with her peers, Max is revealed to be Hazel's younger brother. The siblings talk about the company and Hazel urges Max to be involved in it. He refuses, expressing that he likes the low-key life managing the station and does not want anyone to know that he's Yvonne. Hazel mentions Lola and tells him that there is something between the two but if this has to go forward, she must know the truth. The workers get into a hilarious bar fight and Max gets them out of the situation. The next day, he offers Lola a ride to the winery and makes her try the wines. Then, he takes her to a cottage and two bonds some more over very expensive wine. He even reveals to her that Barbara, who is supposed to be dinner next weekend, will be spared because Lola lover her too much. Max also tries to tell Lola the truth about his identity but isn't successful. The two then get cozy and kiss. The next day, Max is worried and blurts out the truth before she can say anything. He tells her everything about himself. Lola does not take this update kindly as she expresses that she never really cared about his last name but the lie was uncalled for. A visibly heard Lola and Max head back to the station where they are informed that Hazel wants to meet with the former. At the house, Lola is shocked to see her former boss Calder and colleague, Audra in conversation with Hazel. As they finalize a distribution contract, Calder offers to rehire and promote Lola, promising to give her a raise and letting her handle the Vaughn Family Wines account. Lola is tempted but refuses to work for a toxic and egotistical boss like Calder. Hazel expresses her sorrow that she won't be a part of Vaughn Family Wines expansion into the US. Lola mentions that the feeling is mutual and hands over a new potential logo for the company, a sketch of Sibylla, as a parting gift. 
As Lola walks away, Audra runs after her to apologizes for her actions and the two sort of make up. Elsewhere, Lola says her goodbyes to the other workers and Max comes to see her. They have a heartfelt exchange before parting ways. A few months later, Lola is back in LA and is making progress by getting a couple of clients. Furthermore, Audra joins in on the venture too. The two start discussing the Vons and Audra reveals that according to the latest news, Von Family Wines has parted ways with Mythos. She suggests going after them again but Lola refuses. The next day at a wine tasting event, Salute Imports also puts up a stall to display the bottles of the few clients that they have. Hamish comes to say hi and casually talks about how Lola blew the Vaughn opportunity. This is when Max arrives on the scene and says that it was him who blew it and not Lola. He reveals that he's now fully involved in the company's operations and would like Salute to be their new distributor, a request which Audra quickly accepts. Max also shows them the new bottle design with the Sibylla logo on it and apologizes to Lola. He says that he should have never let her go and offers to bring her back to Australia, stating that Barbara misses her. They kiss and head back to Arata to attend the wedding of one of the workers at the station. A perfect pairing gets a happy ending as everyone enjoys the celebrations.